Hi everyone. Um, today I wanted to talk to you about how to build a perfect CV and certain deadly mistakes that you should always avoid. The first mistake that people often do is they talk about dated things. So quite often they might talk about say a debate competition they won an eighth standard or uh, you know something uh, being a judge the uh, an avid reader in fifth standard. The truth is no one cares. No one cares what you did before 10th standard. 10th standard is also kind of redundant, but uh, because 10th board marks matter, uh, I, I would say starting 10th standard, that's where all your achievements should be listed out. So really don't mention, unless you've done some exceptional thing, unless like you won a national award for swimming or, uh, or acting or something like that, as a child, I would say definitely don't mention it. Now the second common mistake that people make is they kind of uh, don't quantify things. So just saying that uh, I won a running race competition in my intercollegiate festival uh, or sports event. How many people were running? How many people were in the race with you? Pata chala, teeni log bhaag rahe the, tum first aage. So there's a lot of issue with when there is no number. Numbers are always, uh, they add credibility and therefore it is very important that you always quantify your CV points uh, wherever possible. Uh, of course, I understand there are some cases where it becomes very hard to quantify. If you cannot quantify it, remove it from your CV unless it's very, very important to you. Third, making your CV longer than one page. The truth is no one has the time, no one cares. You have to put in all your points in the one page that is given and uh, it becomes very important that you are very carefully picking your points because kabhi kabhi I've seen CVs which run like three pages and I'm like God I don't I don't have the patience or the bandwidth to go through so many points so make sure your CV is always only uh, one page long then always add a contact number and an email ID I, uh, this is a mistake I made once. <laughs> I made a CV and I forgot to add my contact number. So make sure you always add that because uh, since I've made it, I'm telling you, please don't make that mistake. You could have the best CV and if you forget to put your contact number, that's gonna be a disaster. Uh, so there's that. And um, when it comes to a CV, uh, another point to really remember is that your CV has to be reflective of your best work. Uh, so try to not put certificate courses that you've done. Nobody cares about a certificate course. See, I've said this many times, a certificate course gives you a lot of learnings, no doubt, but nobody cares if you got a certificate course from Coursera or edX because everyone knows you paid money to get that certificate. Uh, and this is me being brutally honest. Everything about this video is being brutally honest. Uh, so I'm not saying don't do certificate courses. Do it if you need to. Do it if you want to upscale yourself. But if you are approaching it solely from the point of view ki haan, maine teen courses ki hai marketing ke upar, now I'm sorted for a job in marketing, nobody really cares. Uh, so uh, I would say limit your certificate courses. Instead, if you have that money which you're investing on a certificate course because each certificate is like 6,000, 7,000 rupees. So if you have that much money, invest in going to, uh, going pursuing a hobby, uh, maybe taking that up in a more structured manner. Uh, like, you know, uh, if you are interested in learning the piano, then do all the grades of it. Uh, if you're, uh, I don't know, if you're interested in a language, take up the la official language uh, proficiency tests uh, instead of just randomly doing stuff. Uh, so yes, it. So what I'm saying is judiciously use your money instead of investing 7,000, 8,000 on a Coursera course, use that money to actually enroll yourself into a language learning class. Obviously it will be a little more expensive, but if you do course in Coursera, then you'll obviously get a better deal if you go to a language learning class. So make sure you add that as well. Um, so I would say, please don't waste your money on Coursera and all. And if you really, really want to learn, then I would say just do the course for free. There's no point spending money and getting that certificate because it's of no value. Uh, and the last thing is your CV should be tailored to the industry that you're applying to. If you're interested, I can make another video on the types of industries and the types of uh, clusters that come uh, to, uh, to the overall B school placement process and how you should make your CV based on each uh, place you're applying to. But the point is, don't use a one size fits all thing. A CV bana liya, ye har jagah mein apply kar diya, consulting role ke liye bhi, marketing ke liye bhi, iske liye bhi, uske liye bhi, that is the worst blunder you can make because you have
have to realize that every job has its own ask so i would say look at the job description tailor your cv based on that if you're applying to a b school then make sure you uh, also look at the b school's core competency suppose you're applying to xlri hr don't talk a, don't talk a lot about your marketing uh, prowess uh, focus more on how you've been more people centric etc if you're applying to uh, uh, say a finance or uh, you know a mba make sure your cv is tailored to that because nobody wants a misfit you don't want to be a misfit in the overall universe so make sure you have three four versions of your cv each version catering to a different domain so that when you when you apply you'll have a variety of cvs to choose from and i know there is a lot of time for you to make your cvs abhi to sirf cat hua bhi nahi hai but it is important that you start now uh, because once you get into the b school you won't have time to build your cv so right now if you can do volunteering take that up volunteering is one of the best things to do because it is impactful it is short term and uh, it really shows that you're passionate about something and take up volunteering in any space whatever you're interested in you like animals go to work at an animal shelter you want to work for women's empowerment go work for a organization that works in this domain you get passionate about mental health do the same so uh it really depends on your interest area and i'm sure every one of us is passionate about something or the other so find that interest area go do an internship go do a volunteering thing uh and what i suggest is uh after your cat is done make sure you take up an internship um at a good place and uh, make that uh, make sure you mention it on your cv once the shortlist come because uh that is that's going to be very helpful uh so uh i i to be honest i don't remember if i am m the bad had a cv uh um, shortlist thing uh but uh, but a lot of the other b schools like imt gaziabad and nmims they tend to ask for a cv so make sure you have a cv if you are attempting the cat in 2025 you have a lot of time abhi se cv build karna shuru karo and uh, best of luck see you